This is the all new 2024 Hyundai Santa Fe Calligraphy in the hybrid platform. It has some cool new headlights for it, the H logo. This is the terracotta orange color, just released in the US. has 20 inch black wheels unlike the all gas version which has 21 inch so less potholes you have to worry about plenty of room in the back seats get the third row here Wide opening if you want to store things. You have handles to climb up if you want to put things up on the roof. Works great with car seats and all the time my daughter likes to sleep when riding so you can adjust the seat forward and back so they can lean back and not worry about their head falling forward. Great car for the family. And being the calligraphy it has the captain's chair so don't even have to fold the chairs forward. Kids can walk right in between them and get right to the third row. Has a beautiful display on it. We have the Google Maps. Dual wireless charging. This is the black interior. You have a suede liner on the top has a heads up display don't know if you can really see it right here or not but it's there you have all your steering controls from lane assist to adaptive cruise control which works great when you uh, change lanes it will actually change the lane for you front seat drivers can get heated and cold seats heated seats in the rear. This is the knob for driving. You simply can go back to reverse. It puts on this great map for seeing where you're at in a parking spot. And if you want better visibility you can just select your car, spin around, see how things look around it. It's a really neat display. I wonder if I can change the colors. Okay, let's see how this car drives. Very smooth driving. Now if I want to turn on the digital rear view, I can. Really sharp picture behind the car. For being a hybrid, if you Lord, it seems to have decent power. I think it'd be fine getting on the on ramps or passing a car if you need to. This is more of a family car, not really meant to be a racer. The reason I chose the hybrid over the gas, all gas version, is for one, it doesn't have the dual clutch transmission. I've seen some bad things on it, heard some bad things, and I'd rather stick with this tried and true uh, six speed transmission in this car and plus I love having the, the better gas mileage and go not bad it's not slow but I mean it's not a quick car I own a Tesla and if you want a quick car get a Tesla but this car is not meant for that so I'm enabling the steering control of this vehicle. And then right here is the adaptive cruise control. What's neat about this, as you see, it stays in the lane. It's turning itself. Although I think I will have to put my hands back on the steering wheel. Let me hold the 
the steering wheel just in case it starts beeping. If you want the bigger Google Maps, just touch the screen, touch it again. Nice wide Google Map view. I love CarPlay. We'll never get a car without Apple CarPlay.